What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog and right now I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast with my grandmother and then guys my grandfather has left to do some business and uh, I'll show you his car because a lot of you guys were interested why does he want to change his car for a Chinese one and he told me to warm it up while he was gone so I'll flip and show you it and guys in the link in the description there is a link called boosty where you could join there I'm gonna be posting some posts there even maybe doing some live streams there so go and check it out also you could support me there if you want to anyways let's have a bit of breakfast and get going with our day just had a bit of breakfast and it is time to show you the car would you just look at that Anyways, he asked me to start her up while uh, he's driving another car that his friend lent him because this car is five years older than me and uh, it is having some problems. It is having some problems. Now, that is the sound of the door. Anyways, here we are. Look at this hoopty. Very nice. Oh. Oh, get a lick. Hello. This is not dirt, guys. This is the paint of the leather gone. Very nice Bose audio system. Anyways, let's see if she starts up. Funnily enough, my Escalade doesn't even have a button. This is a 2004 and already has a button. How do you start this thing up? Oh, brake. Three hundred and seventy-four thousand kilometers. And apparently it is the year 2003. Oh god, I'm just standing behind the car. <clears throat> oh my god, that is a pollution disaster. And uh, yeah, it always breaks. That's why he wants to change this car. I mean, it is a very old car. One owner though, he bought a brand new back in the day anyways um, he said for some reason sometimes it overheats and I pretty sure that it is an air bubble somewhere in the cooling system so yeah probably probably something to do with that but it smells like a flipping truck like a 1960s truck let's see what's under the hood Weapon North Star V8. Oh, that does not hold at all. Anyways, let's see if it overheats or not. So there's some wires cut out of here. God knows what was happening inside this engine bay. Well, after warming up the Cadillac, um, took out Pachanka for a walk. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, enjoy the nice weather. Oh my God, I smell the Cadillac from here. Basically, the thing is, right, that Cadillac was not serviced the way it's supposed to be for a very long time and it kind of got destroyed. And yeah, I mean, it's an old car as well and it needs, I don't know it's it's rusting out and the engine is pretty sure I'm hearing a slight knock anyways he wants to change that and uh, get himself a flip in new Chinese car so he doesn't have to worry about uh, you know getting it fixed up all the time and stuff like that because that car is always over at repair stations getting fixed and nobody could truly get it like 100% fixed and if they even wanted to it would cost an absolute fortune so I was like yeah let's go and uh, see, go to a Chinese dealership and uh, walking through the forest right now and um, as for the details you know get yourself a flipping uh, car for a loan why not so that is 
the plan anyway. So one day I'm gonna take my grandfather over to a bunch of Chinese dealerships and um, yeah, he's gonna get himself a Chinese car. On the news with the Oka, we still have not done anything for it to get it fixed. This week I'm gonna try to get it fixed up. Also, I'm gonna be on the call with the builders to start actually building up the walls in the apartment. Hopefully this week, actually I'm lying. Today is Thursday, so it's Friday. Probably they'll start on Monday. I don't know, whatever their plan is, I'm gonna send them a message today and see what they reply. Well, after uploading a bit of St. Pete stuff, need to bring this thing this is actually guys don't worry this is all airsoft stuff it might not look like airsoft but it is airsoft anyways need to bring this to edward because he is doing something with his motorbike so yep anyways gotta warm up this car and get over to him guys evelyn is driving away from me and we met with look at him edward your favorite guy and uh yeah so Having a bit of exercise, walking with my girlfriend. Very nice. Uh, Guys, Evelyn is pranking me. She's, why is she doing this? Anyways, we met up with Edward. Hello. And he's gonna be fixing up his motorcycle. He bought himself some new wheels and I'm bringing him the tool that he needs. So let's go. Look at Evelina already driving like an absolute professional. All those days have paid so that Evelina can drive and uh, hopefully not crash into any cars. Anyways, let's get going. Oh look, a bit of military cars. Military commands. Oh, this is heavy. Oh look, it's Edward. Everybody loves Edward. He's so happy that everyone yeah. of you says, oh look at Edward, look at him. Look at him. He <laughs> is doing his motocross bike stuff. Well, thank you. Let's see what Edward does. Day with Edward, doing some stuff. Look at this Uro. This is the Uro that I really like, the bobber. Very nice, look at it. Very, very nice. You could see Edward is a professional, <laughs> so uh, he was drilling and got this thing stuck inside what is a spacer between the wheel and the frame of the motorcycle. Oh, it's really hot. Ah. Look at him speak more English because you guys said you like him. Yeah. You see guys, because of you, people want to start learning English. Very nice, <laughs> very flippin' nice. So guys, Edward couldn't live without me, so I gotta do some heavy duty machinery work right here. Look what Edward got for his ladder. Look at it. It's a flipping nice little looking duck with a gold chain. Should be like this. Very nice. Anyways, we're gonna buy, we're gonna buy a drill bit so that we can just drill out the metal. So we came over to the local building supplier type of thing where you could buy tools and stuff like that so that we could buy a huge drill bit to drill out. So we are gonna measure out the thing that has to go through the other thing that we're drilling. We got a big drill bit and we're gonna try to use it. Let's get rid of this small women's thing right here and put some manly flipping equipment on this drill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not straight for some reason. It doesn't matter why it goes in. This is dangerous guys. Why is it going in eight? 
walking through the darkness right now anyways guys came back home i helped edward do one of the things he needed to do the camera's not focusing because there's absolutely hardly any light anyways helped him do that he's gonna do the second one meanwhile evelina is gonna make some cotlette which is like chicken burgers but without bread or anything like that with a bit of rice we're gonna have that and then we will see where the day takes us i have absolutely no idea but hopefully if edward gets the other second thing done we might actually get the lada oka fixed up now i'm getting uh, things sorted out right now with boosty because still have not got anything out of them yet but i've been messaging them and they're like hopefully it's gonna get working soon so if you want to support me on boosty there's a link in the description where we might be doing some interesting stuff so go and check it out and uh, i'll be sending out a few polls there as well anyways let me make a few emails and yeah we'll see and eat some food well it is the night time like 11 or 10 p.m i'm not sure and we brought the orca inside the garage and edward thinks that the problem is all in the lock i don't know let's see if he can hijack my orca and if it works out because i don't know i don't know what's going on with this beast right here anyways let's find out i guess guys what, what do you think the problem is write down the comment section below i'd really appreciate it if we don't get it figured out well it's been an hour and we are trying to have the ignition straight to the battery because for some reason we're not getting any power to the interior so we're at least trying to start up the engine we have straight up power to the ignition and he puts a um a screwdriver to the starter so that uh it starts going anyways we're gonna see the spark plugs because for some reason we have a feeling it has too much flip and fuel in them and we don't know what's going on with this orca we're gonna leave this for today and i'm gonna be talking to you about some interesting topics that a lot of people were joking about and you are gonna see what topics i'm talking about quite soon in this video so stay tuned guessing the title of the video is probably gonna be on this subject anyway so should be quite interesting well guys i am in the house right now and you know what i've been seeing a few comments right and you might be wondering ivan why are you doing this type of format well because the vlog was a bit short i want to try to daily it like i promised many times but i'm gonna try to get myself to daily videos to show you my every single day life now what i was gonna talk about is about the comments some of the comments were like why then why don't you go to crimea the bridge has been blown up well even if it wasn't blown up i would not go there because i just don't want to go there ever i mean honestly like no 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 and um i just don't understand what is the story i know that there are a lot of russian people going there for holidays and stuff like that no idea what they have in their heads to do so but i'm not that type of person that goes to crimea for holiday that's like kind of uh i don't know going to moscow region for holiday like, what's the point you know uh, in my opinion going to holidays is good to go to another country where it's a different culture, different types of foods and stuff like that. So I don't understand. Why would I go there? You know, I'm not a big fan. It's like saying go to Donetsk or Lugansk or something like that. Like, I mean, seriously, why would I go on holidays to a place like that? I mean, really. And also considering that um, there are rockets flying sometimes, definitely no. Second of all, what I wanted to talk about is there are a few YouTubers. I'm not going to be naming any names, but from my words, some people might be guessing who it is. Um, people are saying, you know, when you go on holidays, you straight away see Russians. They're always drinking, jumping into swimming pools, stuff like that. Well, I'll open... A new world for you people from your country from whoever is watching right now you have that type of people 
the drink, get absolutely wasted on holidays, and just drink all the way through and jump in swimming pools and do whatever drunk people do. You cannot. I don't understand what is going on with YouTubers right now trying to clash nations between each other. I mean, we literally have enough already of clashing the normal people together. Seriously, we're all the exact same. No matter where you're from, you're going to have your typical people who, you know, get absolutely whacked off their faces and do stupid stuff. No matter where they're from, if they're American, English, Estonian, Finnish, Swedish, Ukrainian, Belarusian, Russian, whatever. You would always have people like that in any country. You cannot just say, it is only Russians that drink vodka 24-7, jump in swimming pools, everybody hates them, and stuff like that. That is absolutely not true. And a lot of people that live or work in areas where it is basically touristy, in the hotel business, for example, Turkey, Alania, would know that that is not the case whatsoever. I mean, they would say it's probably the same for every single nation. So you could have Germans drink beer from 6 a.m. to, I don't know, 9 p.m. or something like that. It's just different people, that's all. Anyways, guys, hopefully uh, my words will make people understand that we're the same we have the same type of people you cannot just say this nation is bad every single person in that country is bad that is absolutely wrong you cannot put everybody under the same pile of people and you got to understand one thing that governments and people are not the same in any country whatsoever you will always have people that agree with something and some people that don't agree with something that the government does guys hopefully uh, my words somewhat brought some peace and love between people i don't know you know sometimes i have a feeling that i really want to help us normal people ordinary people to become more friendly to each other because no matter where we're from if we see each other on the street we should be friendly to each other no matter where we are from anyways guys thanks for watching um hopefully you enjoyed this little vlog and if you did please leave a like subscribe and comment in the comment section below also you could subscribe and follow for free on my boosty which the link is going to be in the description where you can see some posts and maybe I'll start writing my opinions there or something like that. No idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but we're definitely going to be trying out the features on it. So yes, guys, see you later. Adios.